Hey guys, it's Kat here from Upscale, and today I'm here to talk about Grado Labs. More specifically, the Grado Sonata 3 from the Timbre series. I love this cartridge, and after talking to a few people at Grado, I just gained a massive appreciation for this company. So, Grado Labs started in the early 50s by Joseph Grado, and he had his hands in a lot of tiny inventions and details. Dude went from watchmaking to working for Tiffany & Co. And what actually my favorite story was his work with Fairchild. We should probably pop up a photo of what I'm referring to, but Fairchild is a company that's known for building one of the best and like fattest compressors in the recording world, the 660. It's a tube based compressor and literally everything I throw at it sounds thick and kick ass. I cannot get enough of it. So when I found out that he was doing some work for Fairchild, I was like, oh my gosh, this makes him way cooler. And so actually Fairchild was in the middle of designing a moving coil cartridge that they couldn't get to sound quite right. They couldn't get it to sound resolving. And so Joseph Grado was already doing some work for them, brought him on, and long story short, that's what was born his patent for the stereo moving coil cartridge. I was reading through the whole write-up of it and it's like super heady stuff. Um, so I highly encourage you to check it out if you're a nerd like that. And so, yeah, um, but if that wasn't enough, he is the reason why moving iron cartridges are so successful in sound. And uh, I'm very excited to touch upon that. So Grado doesn't just do cartridges, they do headphones, speakers, a few other things, but I am gonna be focusing on this cartridge because it sits in a price point that's you know, easy and hi-fi, it's around 600 bucks. You get a lot of really cool technology inside of it and it sounds amazing. Okay, so you've heard me talk about energy transfer, materials, tiny details, maybe in some of my other videos about like the control and everything like that. This company really took to the design of the cartridge. And maybe again, we should put up a little graphic to describe what I'm talking about, but going back to what a cartridge build is, you've got your stylus, your cantilever, your generators, your suspension, your body, there's like a whole bunch going on, to it, uh, on with it. And there's a lot of pickup involved, a lot of heat generated, so you need that control. So we've got like moving magnets, moving coils, moving irons. Um, kind of plain and simple, the difference between like a moving magnet versus a moving coil, moving iron build. With a moving magnet, you have static coils while the magnet is its generator. And with coils and irons, you've got stagnant, static magnets, but you've got the coils and the irons working in direct correlation with the cantilever and stylus. So moving iron is a very important design because that generator is generally speaking a lot less mass than a lot of the, the other copper windings and coils that are going on in moving coil cartridges so therefore there's a lot less energy being transferred and a lot uh, quieter noise floor that's being picked up so a first patented design that i want to talk about that's utilized in this cartridge is the flux bridge deflection in the magnetic field is what is producing this signal and Grado was working on designs and what they came up with was something called like it's an iron disc or what they call um, a reluctant generator. So this iron disc is again slightly rounded but it's what helps them achieve less windings, less coil windings on their generator themselves. So less windings, less impedance, you know, all of that's going to be it's going to give you a quieter signal and a better pickup. You get that technology in this cartridge and you also get another patent and design called the OTL or the optimized transmission line. Um, this is a very cool technology that is the build of the stylus to the cantilever to the generator and basically what I want you to think of is like a telescoping effect. You got the stylus that will go into that cantilever. There's a ton of different ways to do this but this is what the OTL line is with Grado. So I mean, this is what Uncle Joe wanted. He wanted something that was going to be linear, controlled, quiet, and that was just going to reproduce a really good sound. But they didn't want it to be so um, so clean sounding. And you know when you've listened to a Grado or maybe you've heard people talk about Grados, they have this like really smooth, warm, welcoming sound signature to them. Like they still have that air, they still have the bottom end extension, but there's like this rounded out nature to them. And that's because they've got um, an elliptical diamond. So they have something a little bit more, um, the, the stylus has uh, got a wider diameter and it's not gonna pick up all those dirty details really deep in the grooves. Um, like the suspension and everything else is controlled, so they want something that's going to help complement that. The cantilever is um, an aluminum alloy material in this cartridge specifically. 
And um, the body is made of a really cool exotic Australian wood called jarrah wood. And it's very stiff and it goes through a thermal setting process just like a lot of the, these other cartridges do um, to help stiffen the body. But it's, it's I mean, it's gorgeous. And when you, when you think of this, think of like the, the acoustic qualities to wood. I mean, it really helps bring out a woody sound signature to it. So you've got this, you know, square wood body with the, the generator and the innards recessed inside of it. And that's really what helps round out this entire situation. You've got this beautiful top air end extension that's not too harsh and uh, this really welcoming mid range. Um, this cartridge comes in a high output and a low, well, medium output version. It's four millivolt and one millivolt. And I really, I wanted to showcase that because I think it's cool to have the options of different output voltage when it comes to cartridges that aren't so low output. When you think about a cartridge, it's, you know, it can be thousands of volts under line level. Like that's a lot of gain that you have to add to the front end of your system. That's a lot of pickup. And so not stressing the front end of your system can sometimes give you a better experience. Um, I know we don't sell them, but um, Audio Research is a company that comes to mind that I know a lot of you guys have. And these, these cartridges, the medium outputs pair really well with those phono stages. So plus the sound complements it really well. So take a look at your output voltage and figure out what's gonna be good for you. Um, these cartridges are on the s a little um, higher side of compliance, so they're, they're slightly higher compliance. They're not, they're not crazy, but they're higher compliance. So when you're looking at matching this gradle with a, a tone arm, you know, look at medium to low uh, mass, and that will get you a good complement. These guys are amazing. Um, I, again, I love Brooklyn. I loved learning more about them, their work with Fairchild, and I just feel like you know, check out Grado if you haven't before. Definitely call us up, talk to our, our people, see if this is a good fit for you. And, um, you know, let's see if, uh, if we can get you something. Thanks for watching.